Hi. Let's learn about gross leases. A gross lease is an agreement in which the tenant pays a flat rental fee to use the property. This fee includes all costs associated with property ownership, such as taxes, insurance, and utilities. A gross lease is a contract between the property owner and tenant, where the tenant pays a fixed sum of money for exclusive use of the property. This type of lease is commonly used for commercial properties and allows tenants to budget their expenses accurately. Gross leases fall into two categories, modified gross leases and fully service leases. A modified gross lease is a combination of a gross lease and a net lease, allowing for adjustments to suit the needs of both the property owner and tenant. A fully service lease requires the tenant to cover only the rent, while the landlord assumes responsibility for all other costs. For landlords, advantages of a gross lease include consistent income and reduced maintenance responsibilities, while disadvantages include the potential for increased costs. On the other hand, tenants benefit from predictable expenses and simplified budgeting, but may face higher overall costs. In contrast to a gross lease, a net lease requires the tenant to cover some or all costs associated with the property. There are three types of net leases, single net, double net, and triple net. While net leases give tenants more control, they also come with increased responsibility and potential variable costs. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A gross lease includes all incidental charges incurred by a tenant. 2. Gross leases are commonly used for commercial properties and are different from net leases. 3. Modified and fully service leases are the two types of gross leases. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.